I've been doing this quite a long time now, probably 26 years. I'm a sculptor. I just, I pick something up and I want to create something. If I see something I like, I want to make something with it. And like the boulder I've been working on today, I saw that boulder across the road and thought there's a face there, I'm going to put a face into it. And so that, that before it's even done, it's done in my head, I, I sort of know what it's, I don't know exact details of how it's going to look, but I know what it's going to be. Everything I do comes from my art. And so if you're in a setting like this, you see it every day changing. It's not one day the same and we're in midsummer now so things are starting to curl over and die. We'll, we'll get into autumn and things will start to disappear. We'll get into winter, there'll be no leaves about and everything will be sparse. And that is a cycle of life. That is, and in spring you can absolutely guarantee that it'll be reborn again. I wanted a wood. Now, I honestly do not know why I wanted a wood, but I got it. Something inside me wanted the wood. And I just happened to be at the shops up in the village one evening. And the lady who owned this, I said, do you want to sell your woods? And she said, yes. <laughs> so I bought it, that was it. <laughs> I'm quite a free spirited person and I'm, I'm quite, raw and rustic so i'm guessing i'm quite a wild sort of person so being in the woods i just connect with it totally everything about it it's become essential that i'm here and if i work away from here it's essential i come back to charge batteries back up nothing's too big and i love doing small stuff and to be honest small stuff often takes longer than big stuff work with multiple people um, some are famous and some are extremely wealthy uh, but I, I, I really don't like sort of telling the world about it I like the idea that somebody comes fresh because they want what I do rather than who I meet and things like that to be honest a lot of these people become friends and so it, it's almost betraying a confidence. It's a 10 acre woodland and bit by bit I've ex expanded and, and pushed the paths forward. But now the paths go practically all the way around. So at the moment there's one major route all the way around, which takes 20 minutes, probably more to walk around. But by the end of this summer, hopefully there'll be a second path which will take you on another circle. So it's just a fantastic place to visit. I mean, I can't stop carving sculptures. So whatever I don't sell has to go down wood anyways. <laughs> Andrew Vickers is extremely shy and I wear a mask that is called Stoneface. It's from when I used to build dry stone walls. I used to, used to build miles and miles of walls upon top. But every wall you took down, I never ever found a signature. Um, and I just thought, I'm going to mark my walls. And so one night I just went home, took a piece of stone with it and carved the face in it. Now, I'd never ever carved stone at that point. But I found I could carve faces that night and I put the, wall, the, the face in the wall so I became stone face, dry stone waller. <laughs> <laughs>